The flank type auto hinge uses the spring hinge and damper hinge as a pair. The spring hinge, which is attached to the upper part of the door, closes the door automatically or holds it open. The damper hinge, which is attached to the lower part of the door, adjusts its closing speed. When hanging the door, align the notch of the damper hinge's shaft with that of the hole in the door piece. Remove the cap of the spring hinge. Open the door about 10 degrees to align the sides of the spring hinge's set hole. Drive the spring pin securely into the aligned set hole. The spring pin could come loose or cause a malfunction if driven in from the wrong direction or insufficiently driven in. These could also result in a squeaking sound. Confirm that the spring pin is securely in place. The door will stop at the angle at which the spring pin was driven in. Forcibly closing the door will result in malfunctions. Open the door about 90 degrees. Turn the preset screw counterclockwise 3 to 4 times until it protrudes 1 millimeter above the hinge surface. Do not do this before the spring pin has been driven in. Attach the cap of the spring hinge. Remove the cap of the damper hinge. To adjust the door's closing speed, use a screwdriver to turn the speed adjustment screw as shown on the top of the cap. Turn the speed adjustment screw counterclockwise to increase the closing speed. Turn the speed adjustment screw clockwise to decrease the closing speed. Attach the cap of the damper hinge. Open the door about 90 degrees. Turn the preset screw clockwise three to four times to tighten it back up. The door will stop at a roughly five degree position when closing. Do not try to force the door closed at this time. Remove the cap of the spring hinge. Removing the spring pin disengages the spring making it possible for the door to be removed. When rehanging the door, set it to the same angle at which it was removed. When hanging the door, align the notch of the damper hinge's shaft with that of the hole on the door piece. Remove the cap of the spring hinge. 
The type of pin inserted into the set hole of the spring hinge differs according to whether it's a model with a stop function or a model without it. Open the door about 10 degrees to align the sides of the set hole. Place the spring pin into the set hole as indicated by the arrow on the mounting paper. Drive the spring pin in securely. Open the door about 10 degrees to align the sides of the set hole. The set pin is located inside the cap of the spring hinge. Insert the set pin securely into the set hole. Open the door about 30 degrees and remove the preset pin. Store the preset pin inside the cap as it will be needed when removing the door. Tighten the hex socket set screw of the damper hinge using the accompanying hex wrench. Remove the cap of the damper hinge. To adjust the door's closing speed, use a screwdriver to turn the speed adjustment screw as shown on the cap. Turn the speed adjustment screw counterclockwise to increase the closing speed. Turn the speed adjustment screw clockwise to decrease the closing speed. Attach the cap of the damper hinge. Use the hex wrench to loosen the hex socket set screw of the damper hinge. Remove the cap of the spring hinge. Take out the stored preset pin. Open the door about 30 degrees and insert the preset pin securely into the hole. The door will stop at a roughly 5 degree position when closing. To disengage the spring and remove the door, remove the spring pin or set pin.